creepy people and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be doing the July 2019 horror pack unboxing. I'm really excited because last month the movies that I unboxed they were all so so good so I'm really excited. I have a lot of high hopes for the July box. I have it right here in front of me. Haven't even opened it yet. No idea what's inside. Again, as always, for those of you who do not know what Horror Pack is, it is a horror movie subscription service where every month you get four new DVD and or Blu-rays, and they are all horror movie related, horror movie genre. Really cool. I have been subscribed to them for quite some time, and huge thank you to Horror Pack for sending me these every single month to do videos for you guys. Sometimes we have a lot of hits. Sometimes we have a lot of misses. Sometimes they're 50-50. And like last month, they were so, so good. So before I unbox the four new Blu-rays, I just want to quickly recap on the ones that we got last month and let you know what I thought of them. So the first one that I want to talk about that we got last month is this one. And this one is Baskin. I love this movie. Like I'm actually like disturbed at myself and I feel like I need to see like a psychotherapist on how much I liked this movie. So when I put this movie in, you know, I didn't really know what to expect. I was kind of excited about it because you know it said it was kind of a uh, Hellraiser, kind of based off that, kind of inspired from that. And so I was really excited about it, but when I put it in right away I noticed that it was a foreign movie. So the whole time that I was watching this movie I did have to read subtitles and at first I was kind of discouraged about that. Not that I have anything against other languages, just like I feel like subtitles to me are very distracting and I can't focus on the movie. However, you know, I put it in, I hit play, the first 10 minutes goes by and I'm like, okay, this is kind of interesting. And then as the movie went on, it got more and more weird. It got more and more crazy and fucked up. And I loved this. I have watched this movie four times. Like, I love it so much. One thing I will say about it is the score for this movie, like the music, is excellent. Whoever was in charge of that for this movie, two thumbs up. They really added that kind of cool music and really added to like the suspense and the scariness of it. This movie was so good. It was so freaking good. It was really fucked up and it kind of gave me vibes of Hellraiser and kind of like the Hills Have Eyes kind of vibe. It was very, very interesting. I don't even know how to like describe what this movie's about, but honestly, like if you're into like fucked up crazy movies, this one is for you. It is awesome. I am so, so, so glad that I have this movie in my collection. It is amazing. I did not think I was gonna like it as much as I did, but I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Hands down, one of my new favorite movies that I've ever gotten from Horror Pack for sure. This one, and I think it was Bram Stoker's Dracula. Those are like my top two that I have ever gotten in Horror Pack. I love them. That's the really cool thing about this subscription service is you know, you get movies that you've never seen before and they end up becoming your favorite. Like, it's amazing. I love it. So, two thumbs up for me for this one. Uh, the next one that I really liked that I want to talk about is Annie Birth. And this has Natasha Lenone in it from Orange is the New Black. And it has Chloe Savini, who, which is from season five of American Horror Story. So, right off the bat, it has two actresses that I absolutely love. Here's what the cover of this one looks like. I did read the back of this on kind of what it was about and this movie was so strange to me like it was something that I've never seen before basically you know a girl gets pregnant by something like some sort of ritual cult and you know she kind of is confused as to what the heck is going on and there's like this huge backstory behind it and her friend is in on it and all this other shit and the end of the movie is like what? Like, it's something that I was not expecting at all. Like, kind of like Creature from the Black Lagoon looking thing. Like, it was wild. It was insane. But I did actually kind of enjoy it. Is it one of my favorite movies? No, but I did really, really like it. And I did really enjoy it. It was kind of funny, comical. I liked the way it was filmed. And I actually made me kind of nauseous because Tasha Lenone, she is like a hardcore partier in this movie. She's always drinking, she's always smoking, she's always getting high. And I like could feel myself kind of getting a little bit nauseous while watching it. Cause I'm like, how the hell can this girl drink, get high and smoke all day long and not have it affect her? Like <laughs> it was crazy. Like the amount 
of partying this girl does is crazy but this movie was pretty good you know not one of my favorites but definitely one that I will keep for sure other one I want to talk about is one that you guys were also really interested in and that was the movie with Misha Barton and that was walled in now when I first unboxed this in the last video I was really excited to watch it I really liked what it said on the back it sounded really interesting and when I was watching it, it was not at all what I thought it was going to be. I honestly found the storyline to be kind of confusing at times. I honestly probably still couldn't tell you what the hell this movie's about. Um, it definitely wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. But I mean, it was it was okay. Uh, out of all of them, this one was probably my least favorite. And then the last movie that we got last month that I want to touch on is the Horror Pack Limited Edition. And this one is Life Changer. And I actually watched this with my sister. And she said this movie was actually on Netflix for a while because she said she's seen it before. And this one was actually really good. I really liked it. Um, it, I think I liked it a little bit more than I liked Walled In. It was very interesting, but it was kind of a cool concept. I did really enjoy it. Just someone who, in order to stay alive, they kind of have to transfer their soul into someone else's body. And yeah, it was really cool. Um, I honestly, because I watched this so long ago, I can't tell you how it ends, but... It was good. That's all I remember is that this movie was pretty good. But yeah, like I said, you know, last month was an awesome month. Two thumbs up for me. Now we can go ahead and jump into the new goodies, which I'm super excited about. So as always, we have four new Blu-rays in here and I see one with a slip cover. So I'm hoping this is going to be a really, really good pick. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. I think I think I'm going to take the slip cover movie out first. So the very first movie that we have for our July, yeah, July 2019 horror pack is, okay, this one, which is Dead Again in Tombstone, and it has Danny Trejo in it, you know, he's just classic for making appearances in movies, um, just looking at it right off the bat, it doesn't look like a movie that I'm personally into. And on the back it says, no one gets to rest in peace. And then the whole synopsis of the movie is, the devil's outlaw and reluctant servant, Gero, Gero, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that, which is Danny Trejo, returns from the dead again in this action-packed western, which promises to be one hell of a ride. Gero is forced to protect a stolen relic from getting into the hands of Jackson Boomer, which is Jake Busey from Starship Troopers. I have no idea who that is. Then again, I suck at names, so I'm sure when I see his face, I'll know who it is. And his gang of soldiers. But Jackson will stop at nothing to rise his comrades from the dead and bring the wrath of hell upon Earth. Gero, 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 I, why can't I can say that must use all his dark powers in order to defeat Jackson and find redemption or die again trying so that is what this movie is about I'm not like I'm not super excited about it but you guys know I'll take one for the team I will watch it and I will report back to you guys next month on what I thought of it but just looking at it you know I'm not a huge actiony type movie person I do like westerns but I like westerns that are more like John Wayne and the Duke and you know westerns like that so this is going to be interesting but I will watch it and let you guys know what I think so that is the first movie all right moving on we have three movies left I'm going to take the one off of the very bottom and the second one is oh okay this one is called The Mind's Eye I have never heard of this movie before it kind of looks like a zombie movie so on the back it says horror fans would be fools not to fall in love with it okay that's a good sign and on the back it says zach connors and rachel meadows were born with incredible psychokinetic capabilities when word of their supernatural talents gets out they find themselves the prisoners of michael slovak a deranged doctor intent on harvesting their powers after a daring escape, they are free from his sinister institution, but the corrupt doctor will stop at nothing to track them down so that he may continue to siphon their gifts for his own use. The Mind's Eye is a mind-bogglingly gory film that has heart, soul, and suspense, but is, a, but is above all unbelievably fun to watch. That is what Modern Horrors says. So 
okay, it sounds interesting. It looks interesting. Again, I've never heard of it. I've never seen it. Have any of you guys seen this movie? Did you like it? What were your thoughts on it? Um, moving on, two movies left. I'm going to take the one off the very top. And this one is The Hollow. Okay, and on the bottom it says, Nature Has a Dark Side. This is an IFC Midnight film. Here is what the cover of this one looks like. Out of all of them, this one looks like something I would definitely be more into. So Fangoria says, Scary and Gorgeous, one of the most visually engaging and starkly terrifying monster movies in recent memory. So that, again, good sign. And on the back it says, When a London-based conservationist is sent to Ireland with his wife, an infant child, to survey an area of forest believed to be hollowed ground by superstitious locals. His actions unwittingly disturb a horde of demonic creatures, that's a good sign, who prey upon the lost. Alone and deep within the darkness of the remote wilderness, he must now fight back to protect his family against the ancient forces relentless attacks okay so this one actually sounds pretty good i'm definitely very excited to see this this was made in 2015 again i've honestly never heard of this but ifc midnight films are usually pretty good so that is a good sign so this is the hollow the cover art is really cool like you know on the back it says it's going to be visually engaging. All right guys and we have one movie left for our horror pack unboxing and the final movie that we have my guess it's probably going to be a horror pack limited edition and of course it is. This is a horror pack limited edition blu-ray and this one is called live oh that's funny <laughs> I thought it said live stream but this one is called live scream so kind of like live stream but like haha horror movie huh? and on the back it says play or die. Ooh, this is cool. Like, just looking at it, it kind of sounds like it's going to be similar to The Ring. So, on the back it says, The mysterious horror game is sent to him by an anonymous fan. At first he thinks the game is a low-quality indie title, but when his followers start dying one by one, he soon realizes the game is far more sinister. Now, Scott will be forced through nine levels of video game hell, each level representing a different horror game niche in order to walk away alive. It might just cost him his fans, and his soul. This one honestly sounds really, really cool. Um, there's a little part at the top that I forgot. It says, every day, loving fans watch Scott Atkinson play games online. After a lifetime of failures and false starts, streaming games is the only thing he's good at. So it, that's kind of cool. You know, obviously I'm a YouTuber, so I'm very much into the whole online type of thing. So that's very exciting. I have a lot of hope for this. I think this is going to be really freaking good. I'm very, very excited about it. I think out of all of them, these two are the two that I am most excited to see. And the one that I'm like least interested in, honestly, is Dead Again in Tombstone, just because it's not really my type of movie. There you go, guys. This whole entire horror pack was filled with movies that I have personally never heard of before, movies that I have never seen, but I am very excited nonetheless. So, all right, guys, there you go. That is everything that we got in the July 2019 horror pack pack unboxing. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comments, have you seen any of these movies? What are your thoughts on any of these movies? Let's go ahead and start a little conversation down in the comments. If you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, I just want to welcome you. Make sure you go down and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Make sure you follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz. Also, don't forget to go down and give this video a huge thumbs up if you are a horror movie fan like myself. But as always, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys and stay creepy. Bye!